today's lesson, we're going to learn about how many times did Jesus predict his death? How many times? So now, we have to understand that Jesus' death was the final sacrifice that paid the debt of sin for all. Remember in Hebrews 9.28 what the Bible says? It says, So Christ once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. So, the death of Jesus was the ultimate purpose of his ministry. In fact, Jesus predicted his, his death at least three times in the Synoptic Gospels. That's uh, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And the book of John offers even more predictions. And uh, the first time Jesus predicted his death, this one is detailed in uh, Matthew 16, 21 to 23. Let me just read a part of it. The Bible says, From that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him and blah, blah, blah. You know the story. And also we see the same thing in Mark uh, 8, 31 to 32, where the Bible says, And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. Now, of course, there are so many verses I can read to you in Luke 9, 21, the same thing. But uh, we understand that Jesus had just fed the multitudes and he said that the Son of Man must suffer many things in Mark 8, 31. He must be rejected by the elders, chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again. Peter then rashly began to rebuke Jesus and Christ responded, Get be, get, get behind me, Satan. Do you remember that in Matthew 16, 33 and Mark 8, 33? You see, Jesus knew that his death must happen, so it was necessary in God's plan to save the world. And Jesus predicted his death a second time in Matthew 17, 22, 23 and Mark 9, 30 to 32 and Luke 9, 43 to 45. He predicted this. And uh, this occurred shortly after the transfiguration when Peter, James, John saw Christ in his heavenly glory. Perhaps this was the season or this was the time or the reason why disciples were so confused by Jesus telling them that he was going to die. At this point, they believed his kingdom was just around the corner. Despite their lack of understanding, they were afraid to ask for clarification. Let me read for you in, in Mark 9, 32. Do you remember what the Bible says? But they understood not that saying and were afraid to ask him. Why were they afraid? Because they thought that uh, this kingdom is already almost here. And Matthew 20, 17 to 19, the Bible says, And Jesus going up to Jerusalem took the twelve disciples apart in their way and said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be betrayed unto the chief priests and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death. Getting the point now? Go also read uh, Mark 10, 32 to 34, and Luke 18, 31 to 34. And you will see these verses describing the third time Jesus predicted his death. He spoke to his disciples as they were heading towards Jerusalem for Passover. And he told them how he would be mocked, scourged, crucified, and then rise again. On this occasion also, the disciples did not even understand Jesus' saying because the meaning was hidden from them. They would soon learn what Jesus meant in the events of Good Friday and following. And uh, the Gospel of John gives a few more predictions of Jesus' death, and they are slightly more subtle. For instance, when Mary anointed Jesus with a costly perfume and Judas asked if uh, she should have 
sold it for the poor. Christ said, leave her alone. Leave her alone. So that she may keep it for the day of my burial. For the poor you have always with you, but you do not always have me. John 12, 7-8. And uh, while not an explicit prediction like the previous three, this statement of Jesus clearly pointed to his coming, death and burial again. Also we see in the book of John 13, verse 33. It says, Little children, yet a little while I am with you, you shall seek me. And as I said unto the Jews, where they go, you cannot come. So, now I say to you, it's like Jesus hinted that his time was short and he told the disciples, where I'm going, you cannot come. And also finally in, in the book of John 14, 25, the Bible says, these things have spoken unto you, being ye present with you. Because Jesus talked about giving the Holy Spirit in his absence, which hinted at his death as well as the future of the church. We see Jesus intentionally came to earth to die for our sins. And he gave his disciples predictions about his death and the events that followed so that when it does take place, they may believe. John 14, 29. It clearly tells us, and now I have told you this before it comes to pass, so that when it comes to pass, you might believe. Hope this has been a blessing to you. Hope the lesson was great. God bless you.